Okay, good evening everybody. This is uh, Monday seminar number 17 of the ongoing and exceptional McLuhan on Maui uh, conference and uh, set the show in motion. Peter Drucker, uh, in his book Adventures of a Bystander, writes about himself, and he comes from a very wealthy family in Austria, and he talks about how he uh, was there at the beginning with careers of Bucky Fuller, Marsh McLuhan, and Fritz Kramer. So Drucker was a part of that world. He then becomes a close friend of McLuhan, and Drucker talks about or whenever he was in, I think, the New York area where Drucker was, he'd always get together with Drucker, and then Drucker would just you know, listen to McLuhan and then use it to become a senior management consultant with this essay called The Man Who Came to Listen. It's not a, a known essay, but it describes what happens when the CIA pays attention to you. That's Marshall. He calls it, he calls it, uh, there's a subtitle in the article, King Spider is on the Velvet Stream or something like that. The roof's over the Velvet Stream. This is the level that McClellan's dealing with in the college. He's in the middle of the establishment. He's infiltrated decent society. Decent society is pissed off that he's there, yet they're stuck with him because he's got a hold on a pattern recognition that they know is important. Drucker is a footnote to McLuhan. He's an example of the intelligence agencies, an acceptable public figure I don't know who, who had brought Chris Kramer over to America, who's the biggest scandal of all. Um, he runs the Pentagon and he's a Nazi from Germany, literally, was in the, in the dock at Nuremberg and then made a deal and got out. But he brings, he guides uh, Kissinger into the national security position. These are the people that Marshall knows he's dealing with. And, and um, uh, Dark Matter just posted a quote from the Forces interview in 1973, uh, Hydro Quebec publication, where Marshall talks about the assassination of JFK and why the establishment would not allow Kennedy or anybody to change anything. So, but the world was changing anyway. The establishment couldn't keep up with it. Well, uh, I just uh, looked up Peter Drucker and McLuhan on the web, and it says here that Drucker said uh, uh, he was asked to reflect on what he'd learned from Marshall McLuhan, and he said not one of McLuhan's specific predictions has come true, and not one of them is likely to come true. <laughs> Well, what, do you have a, a date on that? 1994. Well, that's, that's him trying to squelch the McLuhan revival, which is happening in 94 with Wired magazine. But dry, look at the title, The Man Who Came to Listen, not to participate, but to spy. And this, it's a very insulting title. If I, if I wrote about uh, my wife, the woman who came to listen, you know, and, 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 and it suggests no engagement. This is a really apparent close friend of McLuhan, a guy who got so much from McLuhan, and McLuhan and Barry had decided to nail him. It's right there in this public, I don't know where it's published, but it's, it's on the web now, but it was in, I have it in my archives, a Xerox from somewhere in the 70s. This is you know, what... I never, I never heard McLuhan say anything about Drucker. Uh, so he, he um, had axed him in his mind or was uh, just not... Yeah, uh, there was a folly out there.